What's up guys and welcome back to Overkill Gaming, your home for high-end gaming. Quick little tip video here for both the Steam Deck and the iNeo. Many of you have brought it to my attention that you are not able to use the official PS Remote Play app on the Steam Deck in Windows because the controller is not being detected. That goes for basically any DualShock 4 app that we've been using. They are no longer working. There was some update that happened and it now has disabled any DualShock 4 emulator. So basically, if you want to use the official PS Remote Play app in Windows on the Steam Deck or iNeo, you have to have a actual PlayStation controller. I am gonna show you how to be able to set up Remote Play on the Steam Deck and iNeo so that you can play remotely and use the actual built-in controller. And you will be able to play this outside of your home network. And the software that we're gonna be using to do this is Chiaki. Now, many of you remember some of my older videos talking about Chiaki and how I actually preferred the official PlayStation Remote Play app over Chiaki because it gave you the ability to use it outside of your home network. Whereas with Chiaki, you can actually use it outside of your home network, but you're gonna to have to set up port forwarding in your router. And so today we are going to show you how to set up port forwarding so that you can use Chiaki outside of your home network. The other advantage of Chiaki is that it is virtually latency free. In other words, what you see on your handheld is basically exactly the same as what's going on on your PS5. There's no delay there. So that's what we also like about this. And big shout out to Mute. Uh, one of my moderators in my Discord. He's the one who really brought this to my attention and helped me get it set up. So a big shout out to him. And he has been screaming from the rooftops how great Chiaki is on Windows. It, it's actually, I believe it's better than it is on Steam OS. If you guys enjoy this video or you find it helpful, please be sure to hit that like button and also consider subscribing to the channel so that you don't miss out on future videos like this. We cover tips, tricks, gameplay performance for both the Steam Deck and the Ryzen 7 6800U powered devices like the Aya Neo. So you definitely do not want to miss out on any of it. So without further ado, let's take a look at how to get Chiaki set up and running on the Steam Deck and Aya Neo. So the process is essentially going to be the same for both. We're gonna start out by downloading Chiaki. The version that we are using is 2.1.1 and we will include the link down in the description. Once you have downloaded Chiaki, all you have to do is unzip it and then just store it wherever you like. This is not an app that needs to be installed on the system. Now by default, Chiaki will automatically detect any console, whether it's a PS4 or PS5, as long as it's on the same network. But what we wanna do is help it to find our PS5 when it's not on the same network. And to do this, all we need to do is find out the IP address of our modem. And an easy way to do that would be to open up the website called What's My IP. And you can do this with any device that's currently connected to your home network. The number that you see at the top is the IP address of your modem. All we wanna do is take that number and enter it into Chiaki. Next, we need to obtain our PSN account ID and PIN. And to do that, all we need to do is come to this website here called psn.flipscreen.games, enter in your PlayStation username, and then it will give you your account ID and your encoded ID. The one that we're gonna need is the encoded ID. Next, we'll go into the PlayStation settings, scroll down to where it says system, and then we're gonna scroll down to where it says remote play. We wanna make sure that remote play is enabled. And then we're gonna click on link device and we wanna grab this pin number. This will expire after about five minutes. So you're gonna to wanna to enter it right away. And now all we need to do is set up port forwarding in our router. Now this part of the process is going to be different based on the kind of router that you have, but essentially the process is the same. It's gonna require you to go into your router settings basically by logging into your router and then going to the port forwarding section. For me, I was able to do this uh, uh, with an app on my phone that's, that controls my router. And basically what you wanna do is you wanna set the following ports to TCP UDP. And these are ports 987, 9302 through 9305, 9295 through 9297, and 9308. 
And once you've opened up these ports and have set them to TCP UDP, all you have to do is save this in your router. And now you will be able to use Chiaki to connect across the internet to your PS4 or PS5. And now we'll take a brief look at the settings that I'm using for Chiaki. Depending on the strength of your internet connection, you can set the resolution all the way up to 1080p for PS5 and PS4 Pro. Most of the time I tend to stick with 720p just because it requires a lot less bandwidth, especially if you're on like a cellular connection, which I have actually tested using my cell phone hotspot um, for the internet connection as well. And also we are using the H.264 codec. If you encounter any kind of crackling or popping in your audio, then the way that we found to get rid of it is to delete this file right here called QT audio underscore windows dot DLL. This can be found in the audio folder in Chiaki's main directory. And here we are taking a look at some God of War Ragnarok gameplay on the INEO. I am not connected to my Wi-Fi connection here at home. I am actually connected to the PlayStation 5 across the internet right now. And as we can see, there is virtually no latency whatsoever. So your results may vary based on how strong of a connection you have, but basically yeah, there's no latency whatsoever. And we have all of our controls working perfectly again. And this is without using any kind of DualShock 4 emulator. This is all built into the Chiaki app, so you don't have to worry about um, having to use a uh, an app like Handheld Companion or DS4 emulator to get the PlayStation to recognize your controller. It is all contained within the Chiaki app. All right, guys, so that's basically it in a nutshell, how to set up PS Remote Play using Chiaki in Windows on the Steam Deck and the Ioneo. Everything I showed you in this video applies to both. I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, make sure to hit that like button. And also, like I said before, go ahead and subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss out on future videos like this. And also let us know down in the comment section what you guys think of Chiaki on Windows. And if you guys need any help, feel free to drop by our Discord. We're over there all the time, help people out. We'd love to see you there. All right, guys, that's it for us. We're out of here. We'll see you in the next one. Peace.